So if I've done my maths right, this should be the second to last character review for my Last, Je last Jedi series. Uh, we've got one more coming up, which I think I've saved the best to last, which is going to be Kylo. Um, so again, stick around, that'll be up uh, at some point, if not tonight, uh, it'll be up tomorrow. Now, this second to last one is on Rose, which again, this isn't going to be a particularly long review because Rose is a, a new character who doesn't have um, an amazing amount of screen time during The Last Jedi. Um, so, yes, yeah, she's a brand new character, comes into the film, played by Kelly Marie Tran. Um, she's basically like a maintenance worker on the Radis, and her sister is portrayed earlier in the film, I think her sister's name was Paige, uh, as one of the bombers. Uh, or at least a bomber or a gunner on one of the bombers. And she very heroically sacrifices herself to destroy the First Order Dreadnought, um, which I have a problem with one bomber being able to bring down a seven kilometer long Dreadnought uh, that is supposedly super reinforced uh, with armor. You know, where is the shields? Is, is my question. Why doesn't a Dreadnought have shields? Um, but that's another question for another time, I guess. Um, another one of those little points in the story that you don't want to focus too much on. Paige, uh, sorry, Rose, I should say, herself. I found quite an interesting character. Um, very genuine, very um, passionate about the Rebel Alliance and the Resistance. Um, I did enjoy the character herself and the way that uh, Kelly Marie Tran portrayed her. But similar to Finn, her story arc ultimately didn't make too much of a difference. I, I said in that Finn review that he could have gone on this entire story arc without Rose and it would have made wouldn't have made too much of a difference. And that's not because of Rose as a character, more as to how she was written to influence the story. She doesn't have a great deal of influence on the story simply because of the way it was written. Um, and I think it's a shame because I think... Had they come up with something really good for Rose, it had a, a great potential. And again, I use this word over and over again, wasted potential for this film. Um, I didn't get her... I didn't enjoy the Finn and Rose kind of connection. I don't know whether they're trying to establish some kind of a romantic relationship there, but I really don't think it, it worked. Um, she saves Finn at the very end in a very noble sacrificial efforts to stop him from killing himself again i can't really argue too much with that um from a a point of view of her character you know again it seems fitting that she is brave and she'll do anything she can to help the resistance and save her friends and family she i mean i, I guess you could say that she did have an influence on the story and that she handed the ring the the resistance ring to that little kid uh, and she sparked the hope in their hearts that, you know, we saw the kid use the force to grab the broom at the end of the film. So maybe she did actually play a big part here in that she sparked the awakening of the force in that kid, or at least the hope that the Resistance can win in, you know, the, in his heart. And that's going to spring another generation of Jedi and, you know, it's going to help fight against the evil in the the galaxy uh it's it's yet to be seen but it, it, again it was one of those things that was left to interpretation and wasn't thoroughly detailed in the film um so again i don't think necessarily so much that rose is a bad character but i think she had a bad story um throughout the the film interesting setup loses a loved one uh is still hazing very much she sees finn as a, as a bit of a hero for the resistance um, which is interesting as well. It's nice to see some recognition that Finn is being accepted and, and seen as a hero. And, um, you know, I think going into episode nine, if she is handled correctly, she could become a very, very good character. So, again, a good addition to the film that unfortunately wasn't put in the right position. Um, again, if their story arc had come out in the end to say that either they stopped the tracker or they brought down the supremacy or they did something that actually meant that you know the first order was stopped or delayed because of their actions then i could certainly accept that as being uh, a good part of their story but that didn't happen so for me um still very much an open opinion on rose i think going forward episode nine we will be able to see a bit more about her um obviously she was injured badly at the end of the last jedi so it's 
yet to be seen as to whether i mean I, i'm assuming she survived at the end of it I, that was what my interpretation of that was um i'm sure that she was loaded onto the falcon um i'm not i'm not certain so yeah uh, as i say a kind of secondary character but a good addition just could have been handled a lot better and hopefully going forward it will be better handled as well so again guys i'd love to know your thoughts on rose um in the meantime, I'll be back with my final review, which will be Kylo Ren. So again, if you haven't seen any of my other reviews, check them out. Um, if you want to be alerted when that Kylo Ren review is up, hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell. And I will see you for that next video.